Just another short little video on envelope budgeting. Uh, I have my wallet here. It's a, a Marvel Comics wallet which my wife gave me for Valentine's Day. But I thought I would uh, show you what's in my wallet. So basically, I carry a few envelopes. I don't carry all my envelopes, but I carry a few. So here's, can't see the small print, but this is my blow money. So basically, I allocate a $100 uh, a, every two weeks for me. And what I did for it to fit my wallet so my wallet folds up properly is I took an envelope, trimmed it down to the size of the bills, and then also I made a little slit in the back of the envelope so that way it folds up like nothing. Makes a difference when you have a bunch of envelopes. So here, for example, is my vehicle maintenance envelope. So if I crack that baby open, I have about 200, 250 bucks, 200 bucks, and basically this is for brakes and an oil change and all that kind of stuff. So what I do is every paycheck I just throw $50 in there. So um, when I first started about three months ago, we had zero in the envelope, and I just uh, I tried to fill in some other envelopes at first when I first started. And then I was eventually to get to the vehicle one and put 50 bucks in. So uh, the idea is if something comes up, you can you can plan ahead of time. Uh, I know eventually I'm going to need an oil change. I know I'm going to need an oil filter, brakes, that kind of stuff. So I just get in the habit of throwing cash into that. So that's what that's for. Um, clothing, same thing. We have... few hundred dollars here for clothing so same thing I put about 50 bucks every paycheck into this so now we have $250 it doesn't take long uh, once you get started uh, to start accumulating in your envelopes so the idea is to put $50 and then when you decide to go out and buy stuff so in about a month or so we're going to Mexico so I want to buy some new clothes some shorts a shirt that kind of stuff so nice pair of shades whatever it is but at least you can take it out of that envelope because you've accounted for that and then of course uh, eating out I have what do we have here sorry about the shaky cam I have we have a few hundred dollars there so uh, we're probably just gonna eat at home today we might go out and eat uh, but we the the idea is that you actually have money designated if you want to eat out once or twice uh, a week, which is what we do. Usually on a Friday night, uh, we we uh, go to a movie or we go eat somewhere, and then usually Saturday or Sunday after church, we do the same. If we don't, that money gets accumulated for the next week. I still keep putting money in every time because all that means is you have extra cash if you decide to go to a fancier place if you don't then there's no harm no foul you're only dipping into that envelope so I hope that helps uh, my haircut envelope is empty because I just got a haircut yesterday and I used to allocate about fifty dollars for a haircut but now every paycheck I put twenty dollars away so forty bucks for a haircut including tip is pretty reasonable for a guy anyway so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I hope that gives you an idea of what you can do with envelope budgeting. Thanks for watching.